hey guys welcome back we're going to be creating this matte eyeshadow look in detail so if you want to see how this go down carry on watching and let's get right into it so this is the third episode of the basic babe tutorials i'm gonna be leaving this eyebrow portion in today's video so my beginners and my basic babes can see exactly how i do my eyebrows first off i start with the got to be gel and i glue my eyebrow hairs down and then i go in with a concealer that is two or three shades lighter than my skin tone and with a flat brush i'm gonna use that to clean the bottom part of my brows I'm gonna go ahead and buff the concealer into my skin so that it doesn't end up being cakey. I'm using a buffing brush from Real Techniques. And then I'm gonna go in with my translucent powder in the shade Honey from Laura Mercier and a setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna use that to push a light layer of powder into the concealer under my brows just to keep it in place. For filling in my eyebrows, I'm going in with the Evita Joseph Espet Brow Liner in the shade Rich Espresso. I'm going to use that to follow the shape of my eyebrows. I start by lining the bottom part. I go a little further at the bottom than I do at the top. So the line at the bottom is further down um, the bridge or the sides of my nose than the top. And then I go ahead and fill the ends in and I fill the sparse areas in the brows. So as you can see, the bottom line is further ahead of the brow and the top line is just a little behind the actual start of the brow. I'm going ahead to create hair like strokes at the front of the brow. I'm just being really light handed so that that area is not as thick as the rest of my eyebrows, but feel free to do what suits you. Now I'm going in with a concealer that is exactly my skin tone or very close and I'm using that with the same flat brush to clean up the top part of my brows. I went in with a flat brush to fade the beginning of the eyebrow so that it looks as natural as possible. I blended out the concealer at the top and I'm using my setting brush and a little bit of powder to set that concealer in place. So now we're going to move on to eyeshadow. I'm going to prime my eyelids with a concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. I'm going to use that to prime my eyelids. I'm going to buff that in with a damp beauty blender. Thank you. 
I conceal my eyelids so that I create a fresh canvas for my eyeshadow application. I also like to go in with a light layer of translucent powder to set that concealer in place. I like to set my concealer. I don't like blending eyeshadow into wet concealer. It just makes blending very easy. So now for the beginning of the eyeshadow look, I'm going to go in with a pencil. This is a black eyeliner from NYX. And I'm going to roughly line my lash line very close to my lash line, as close as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect just look at that now i'm going in with a flat brush and some matte black eyeshadow and i'm gonna go on top of the eyeliner that i used earlier to create a line it doesn't have to be perfect but it has to be as close to your lash line as possible Now I'm going in with a darker brown matte eyeshadow and I'm going on top of the black line I created close to my lash line just to smoke that out a tad bit. And then I'm going back into the same matte dark brown with a fluffier brush. I'm going to use that and I'm going to stamp that at my outer V just to smoke out my outer V because we are going for a smoky look. Now I'm going in with the matte black eyeshadow and I'm going on top of the matte brown eyeshadow just at the outer view with the same fluffy brush and I'm going to keep blending that into the outer V. Do not take it anywhere else, just literally leave it in the outer V and then keep blending it out. So it should look something like this. Now I'm going in with a lighter brown and a fluffy brush. I'm going to put that into my crease, blend that out, and then bring it as close to the, the beginning of the eyebrow as possible so that my eyelid doesn't look as flat as um, it looks right now. And then I'm going back in with a brush and the very dark brown that we used in the beginning. I'm just using that to smoke the lash line so that it doesn't look as harsh. And then I am blending the outer V. I'm going in with this light uh, color. I'm going to put that all over my eyelid. And then I'm going back in with the brush to blend out the lash line. Um, just in case the lighter color we used on the eyelid went on top of it so that it looks um, detailed. And I'm going back in with the brush that I used to apply color in my crease. And I'm just blending out my crease so that the harsh lines are no longer there. Thank you. 
so you should have your eyeshadow looking like this So for eyelash, I'm going to use this cut shape eyelash and I'm using my dual glue. I'm going to apply that onto the lash band and I'm going to allow my eyelashes to dry down. I'm holding my eyelashes with a tweezer. This is a mirror I'm going to be placing at the bottom of my chin so that I'm able to see my lash line. And I'm going in with my tweezer and this tool that I recently came across, it helps to apply eyelashes easily. So you hold down your eyelash hairs and then you put your your false eyelash on your lash line as you can see what i am doing it just makes everything super easy if i can find the link for that tool i would put it down below but this was sent to me um, in a pr package from jlux beauty on instagram And then I'm going in with this weird looking tweezer. I'm going to use that to press the eyelash as close to my actual lashes as possible so that they look good. So that there's not a gap between my eyelash extensions and my actual eyelashes. And I'm going in with a little bit of the matte black eyeshadow onto my lash band to conceal it just a tad bit. And this is what the eyeshadow is looking like. So I went ahead to do my makeup and I'm going ahead to tight line my eyes with a black eyeliner, what I used to line my lash line earlier. I just put that in between my eyelids and I move back and forth. I'm going back in with the soft brown that I used earlier. I'm just using that to smoke my lower lash line so that it matches my eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with some highlighter from Fenty. I'm going to put that into my inner corners and my brow bone to open up my eyes and, you know, put some sparkles on my eyeshadow. And of course, I'm going in with some mascara from Huda onto my lower lashes. I don't like to apply mascara on my top lashes when I'm wearing falsies. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This look is becoming one of my favorite looks. So I just wanted to film that for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next one. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye, guys. Bye.